good morning children we have a very small portion left in this i'll be teaching it today after that i'll be uh, telling you exactly as to how to prepare for next thursday's test okay so please please watch the full video then only you will be able to follow it okay so the next topic is three pin plug and socket three pin plug and socket okay so you all have seen a three pin plug okay the top pin which will be thick and longer is the earth pin left hand side will be the life and the right hand side will be the neutral okay first you should know this top one is earth left left hand side one is okay l l you remember left is life right is neutral okay now a few things why do we see this uh, you may not see this in everything but really some good quality electrical appliances you know, the plug points of those will have this kind of a splitted end okay why what is the purpose of this it provides a spring action so that they fit in the sockets tightly now when you put this inside the socket this will go and get fixed inside a plate kind of a thing so it helps in very um, it helps them to fit properly fit tightly so that they don't come out that easily okay they fit in the socket holes tightly that's the main thing reason will be it provides a spring action so that they can fit in the socket holes tightly then the second one why is the earth pin thicker and longer okay so why is the earth pin thicker and longer so there are two reasons so when you put the plug the first contact that will be established is the earth okay uh, in the sense before even live and neutral are getting connected we are making sure that that appliance is earthed it's like safety is first even before the appliances are connected to the connected with the live and neutral okay so that is the purpose of having it longer so that when you put this inside this will touch its contact much before these two so first earth connection is made then only live and neutral are made okay so earth pin is made longer so that the earth connection is made first this ensures the safety of the user because even if the appliance is defective as soon as the live pin gets connected the current passes to the earth and the fuse blows off okay so to make sure that uh, earthing is done first it's made longer second and then why is it thicker it is thicker okay because so that by mistake also it cannot be inserted into live or neutral by mistake also earth should not be inserted into live or neutral that's the reason why they have made it thicker okay so this is a reasoning question why is the earth pin thicker and longer so this will be your answer now come to the socket okay now in socket top one top hole will be earth left will be neutral and right will be life in plug in the three pin plug left is life right is neutral in socket it will be just the opposite left is neutral life right is life neutral life so when you put that inside neutral will go into this life will go into this and earth will go into this okay then okay then you have safety precautions for plug and socket what are the two main precautions to be used while using a plug and a socket okay that's the third question that you will study so two safety precautions one is the hands must be completely dry second the plug key the plug pins should fit in the socket tightly any loose connection will give rise to sparking and burning of either the socket or the plug this you would have come across in your day to day life if there is a loose connection you will see some spark coming and that's very dangerous it's not good to have that so always it's good to make sure that it fits tightly in the socket okay so these are the uh, two main precautions next comes color coding of wire have you ever noticed okay so i told you before also when you see the 
uh, any wire if you take there will be three wires inside life neutral and earth okay now um, there are two things old convention new convention old convention means the wiring system that was there maybe 10 15 years back in that kind of wires will have red one red uh, it's basically a plastic insulator now inside is copper but it's just the insulator uh, the insulator will be red color for life black for neutral green for earth that was the old convention okay so any any electric circuit that was con um, that was connected some 10 15 years back you will see this but the new convention means the uh, present one in the in the latest ones you will see life brown color neutral is in light blue color earth green or yellow so you're supposed to memorize this okay so according to old convention what are the colors of live neutral earth according to new convention what are the colors of live neutral earth you're supposed to memorize, memorize this then something called high tension wires okay if any uh, wire has to carry high voltage and heavy current then there is a special wire called high tension wires it will be having low resistance and large surface area basically it will be a thicker wire they call it HT, high t, HT wires and uh, many places they would have mentioned also uh, warning HT wires are crossing high tension wires are crossing so okay now the last part is so just if you know what is high tension wire to carry high voltage and current special wire called high tension wire is used it should have low resistance large surface area that's all then come to safety precautions while using electricity okay the two major dangers when we use electricity are a fire and an electric shock okay now first we are seeing about fire when will fire occur fire is caused when there is overheating of line wires for various reasons such as break of insulation or short circuiting okay whenever overheating happens then there will be a fire now ways to avoid fire what can be done to make sure that fire doesn't occur to avoid it one must use wires or cable of current carrying capacity higher than the total current which can flow through the circuit while using all the appliances simultaneously now what are they trying to say is suppose this is my um, bedroom this is the switchboard in the blood, uh, bedroom maybe i have three lights okay these are switches for three lights l1 l2 l3 and three fans f1 f2 f3 and then there might be a socket okay so that i can put any plug point anything to be plugged inside so at a time i can use three lights three fans and one electrical appliance and of a particular current rating now the wire that comes to this room the wire that comes to this room should be thick enough especially the live wire because it has to carry so much current the current needed for light three lights and then the current needed to run these three fans okay they will all be put parallel they are not the switch looks series actually they will be put parallel one below the other so the current coming will be high so what happens is you have to put a proper thick wire proper thick wire the live wire coming to this room should be thick enough maybe to another room maybe this is my store room okay i don't have many there is one light one fan and one plug point okay so i don't use this very often so at a time even if i use i'll use one light fan and plug so this might maybe this total current that comes inside maybe 12 amps so you should you should use put the live wire in such a way that it will not melt when 12 amp current comes if you put a thinner wire okay maybe for this it is okay to put a thinner wire because maybe totally you need only 5 amps to come here because there are less appliances so it is okay if you put a thinner wire but in this case if you put the same wire it's going to melt every time and it can lead to fire okay 
Hope you understood. So the thickness of the wires should be carefully um, planned or uh, calculated and then put uh, so that fire can be avoided. Okay, that's what they have given. One must use wires of current carrying capacity higher than the total current which can flow through the circuit while using all the appliances. Means while using all the appliances, suppose if I need 11.5 amp current, then I have to use a wire that can carry 12 ampere, slightly higher than the total current consumed by all the appliances. That's what is given. Higher than the total current which can flow through the circuit while using all the appliances simultaneously. You should be prepared for using all the appliances simultaneously. Maybe we will not use everything simultaneously, but the wire that you provide should be able to withstand that much current. Okay, uh, reasons for fire is usually, so reasons for fire is usually break of insulation or short circuiting. Break of insulation or short circuiting, ways to avoid having a, you have using wires of higher current carrying capacity than the total current. Then reasons for electric shock, okay, next problem is electric shock. Electric shock may be caused due to four reasons. One is poor insulation of wires, touching the appliance with wet hands, no earthing of the appliance, no local earthing. Okay, so under these, any one of these conditions, shocks can happen. Poor insulation of wires, touching the appliance with wet hands, no earthing of appliance, no local uh, thing no fuse provided sorry five reasons no fuse provided with the appliance and then no local uh, thing these five reasons could cause electric shock now to avoid it again we have five solutions okay for each one there is a solution so poor insulation of wire for that what will be the solution the insulation of wires must be of good quality and it should be checked from time to time okay we put a Wire and these wires, you know, these days it's inside the wall, and it's not that okay. 25 years back, I put it and I don't check it. Okay, uh, from time to time, they say you have to keep checking whether the insulation is fine or not. Okay, even if any one of the insulation, when I say the the plastic coating around this should be intact, because any time any high current would have come, this would have melted, and you would not know outside. So maybe a little bit melting is okay. If it goes, if it melts for a longer distance, then it can cause some problem. Second, to avoid this problem of touching the planes with wet hands, what should you do? It should never be operated with wet hands, dry hand. Okay. Third one, no earthing of the appliance. Each appliance must have its metallic case earthed. Okay. Then the fourth one, no fuse provided with appliance. Each appliance must be provided with a proper fuse of current, right current rating in its live wire before the appliance. Fifth one, no local earthing. There must be proper local earthing near the KWH meter. Okay, so five reasons and five ways to overcome them. Now here I would like to mention one thing. Now, in some pl uh, plugs, so this is a three pin plug you would have also seen two pin plugs alone there are some appliances which will have a two pin plug maybe a small um, a speaker which you use along with your laptop or a small table fan it might have a two pin plug alone why is that so it means if it is an appliance that is working with less current okay maybe hair dryer all these are they take very less current. In that case, safety is not a very big issue. Even if there is a leakage of current, you won't get a shock and all because the current itself is very less. So even if you don't have earth, if you have only live and neutral, it's enough. So that's why some appliances have only two pin plug, a mobile charger and all those things because very less current flows. So even if you don't have this uh, protecting thing, it's fine. It's enough if you have live and neutral alone, okay? And it's this earth that connects the appliance, the body of the appliance to the local earth thing. Okay. Okay. And yeah, that's all. 
the chapter is over now so yeah so now let's do a quick recap of how to prepare for next thursday's test so see part of eighth chapter uh, according to our numbering i said chap let's take it as chapter 9a whatever it is you study electrical energy and power okay so in this as i told you before first all the six formulas three formulas for electrical energy and three formulas for power okay please study the question answers that you have written in your notebook and that's very clear okay and then uh, one water is how many joules one kilo water is how many joule what are the commercial unit okay what are the commercial units of electrical energy and define it okay and then comes the main definition that is power rating of a appliance okay so power rating of an appliance define power rating so you all have written it study the whole thing from power rating you can calculate two things resistance and safe current those two also you should study and then another possible thing in this what do you mean by the statement an electric bulb is rated 100 watt 220 volt okay then you know you should write what does it mean then straight away you can come to so i you have to go through this table just to have a rough idea which appliance will consume how much rough is enough okay don't you don't exactly memorize it okay you should have an idea that room heater geyser kettle oven and all will have high power rating whereas bulb will take less like that just to have an idea don't memorize it can change also even we have a geyser power rating is 3000 watt okay so it's it's fine it can change this is just to give a rough idea then household consumption of electrical energy this will come as numericals i'll give you some practice numericals then joule's law of heating state joule's law of heating okay so theory is very less in this part mostly numericals are there numericals there are basically three types 1 to 10 is of one type that uses directly the formulas uh, of energy power and all 11 to 17 what we did in zoom class yesterday that's energy dissipated energy supplied by the battery energy dissipated in the appliance so i told you clearly which formula to use when and then last one set of numericals that is to calculate electrical electricity bill how to calculate the electricity bill okay so these are the three type of numericals that we will be having i am planning to send some extra numericals for practice you can try them that will help you to have a good practice now come straight to the b part of the next chapter now this is fully theory so i would suggest out of the 20 mark test definitely 10 marks will come from this children so i would prefer if you start studying from this because this is fully theory this is fully theory okay so you study this first then getting 10 marks will be easy at least this 10 marks you can get and then you go into that the other part okay so you know what all to study continuously i have made you mark first will be the definition and then second will be composition then characteristics of fuse wire it's here okay it's here composition is here then give reason why copper or wire cannot be used okay that's the fourth question then fifth one explain how fuse works sixth one give reason why uh, fuse should be connected in the live wire and then seventh why it's unsafe to connect fuse in the neutral wire then current rating of so eighth will be current rating of fuse how can you calculate the current rating of a fuse and then the last one will be advantages of mcb full form of mcb miniature circuit breaker and its advantages one two 
so you have nine questions in fuse itself related to fuse itself okay so there are very less chances of questions getting twisted in this so study them thoroughly then coming to switches so first is the definition second will be the difference between single pole switch and double pole switch and then the third one will be give reason why uh, switch has to be connected in the live wire and then give reason why switch should not be connected in the neutral wire so this answers will be nearly the same as what you had for fuse okay so you can write the same reasons and then um, this was what fourth. then fifth is what are the safety precautions while using switch okay then this is not there so you can just leave it and come straight to earthing come straight to earthing okay what do you mean by earthing of an appliance so what do you mean if that question comes as such we don't have definition no this is local earthing okay about local earthing this whole five points are there this is about local earthing okay and then if they ask you what do you mean by what is earthing of an appliance if they ask like that then you have to write it's like definition definition will be this one the essential it is essential to provide a connection for earthing an electrical appliance such as refrigerator toaster geyser which we handle physically okay okay children uh, this is as such the definition goes on a longer one so i have made a simpler definition you can uh, note this down if they ask you what do you mean by earthing of an appliance or define earthing of an appliance you can just write this it is the process of connecting the metallic body of an appliance the metallic body of an appliance to the earth through the earth wire of the cable basically what is earthing connecting the metallic body of the appliance to the earth through the earth wire of the cable okay of the cable so please write it down this is the definition and then this is the symbol used for earthing you should know that and then paint should be removed to make earth connection it is necessary to remove paint then safety by earthing how does earthing offer protection so you have to write the entire process how does earthing offer protection okay then coming to three pin plug and socket i've already told why are they splitted at the end why is earth pin thicker and longer that could be the next, second one and the third one what are the two safety precautions that you must follow while handling a plug and socket then color coding both old and new convention you have to memorize then you have safety precautions in everything you, know, you should know the reason for that particular problem danger and ways to avoid it reason ways to avoid it okay so as i told you and please go through all the exercise questions that i had given you for, that you have written in your notebook because this gives you the variety of questions they may not ask directly okay the thing is they will ask okay um mostly direct but there are one or two indirect ones can you use a fuse wire of rating an electric kettle is rated this much give reason whether this kettle can be used in a circuit which contains a fuse of current rating 13 amp okay so what you will find you have to find the safe current okay that is p by v and that comes <clears throat> out to be nearly 12 amp so you can use a fuse of slightly more that is 13 amp is okay a fuse is rated 8 amp can it be used with an appliance so in all these things you have to find the safe current or current using the formula p by v okay so in case of 11th one p is 5000 i'm 11th question p is 5000 watt upon v is 200 so 25 ampere so the safe current is 25 ampere so you cannot use a 5 ampere fuse because every time current goes it is going to break so you cannot use uh, sorry 8 ampere no yeah 8 ampere you need a 25 ampere fuse actually for the 12th one power is 3 kilowatt and okay so 
करंट विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड अपॉन टू फिफ्टी ठीक है सो ट्वेंटी फाइव वन टू ट्वेल्व एम पी सो द सेफ करंट विल बी ट्वेल्व एम पी सो यू फ्यू शुड बी स्लाइटली मोर देन दैट ओके स्लाइटली मोर देन दैट सो थर्टीन एम फ्यूज विल बी ओके बिकॉज सेफ करंट इज ट्वेल्व एम टिल थर्टीन एम इट कैन विथ स्टैंड ओके सो दीज काइंड ऑफ दीज अल एप्लीकेशन क्वेश्चन ओके एंड इवन दर वॉज अनदर क्वेश्चन इन अर्थिंग अर्थिंग इज यूजफुल ओनली इफ अ फ्यूज इज कनेक्टेड या वन हैज टू रिमूव द पिन नो दैट इज ओके द अर्थिंग ऑफ एन अप्लायंस इज यूजफुल ओनली इफ अ फ्यूज इज इन दी लाइव वाई आर गिव रीजन मेन यू ऑफ यू हैड नॉट रिटर्न दिस प्रॉपरली वाई ओनली इफ अ फ्यूज इज प्रोवाइडेड आई टोल्ड यू अर्थिंग हेल्प्स इन टू वेज वन इज इट प्रिवेंट्स यू फ्रॉम गेटिंग अ शॉक एंड ऑल्सो इट प्रोटेक्ट्स दी अप्लायंस फ्रॉम गेटिंग डैमेज्ड ओके सो ओनली इफ यू हैव अ फ्यूज दिस विल हैपन दैट वेन हाई करंट फ्लोज द फ्यूज विल मेल्ट ऑफ एंड देन Fuse connected will blow off and the appliance gets disconnected. Otherwise, you would be protected from a shock, but the appliance would get damaged. If you want the appliance not to get damaged, you should make sure there is a fuse in the circuit. Okay, so that is the answer for this question. So, some kind of uh, application questions like this also can come. Okay, so once again, I tell you study this part first, which is fully theory. Ten to twelve mark questions will be from this. Diagrams, you don't have to study this. Okay, so cartridge type fuse diagram, and then and then and then uh, three pin plug diagram, then socket, and then this one earthing of an appliance. This diagram, okay, earthing of an appliance, and that's all. Okay, local earthing also. This is a simple diagram. So these are the diagrams that you need to. also practice okay so start with this and study the theory first even in this part maybe 5 to 6 mark questions will be numericals maybe two numericals will come that's of 3 plus 3 6 marks okay the remaining will be from theory okay so don't uh, keep thinking of numericals and leave the theory study the theory properly first and then go to the numericals all the best children prepare well and give your test properly thank you so much happy dashra and happy holidays happy studies everything thank you